in everyday life, resulting from the random motion of molecules by which there is a net flow of matter from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Diffusion is sounds beauty to watch. So let's grab some food coloring and water to see it in action. All we will need for demonstrating this simple diffusion experiment at home are a few glasses of water and some food coloring. We will be looking at the diffusion of the food coloring in the water. First of all, take two transparent glasses and fill them with water. In one glass, Pour the cold water and in the other hot water. drops of food coloring in each glass. Three to four drops are enough. Don't put too much food color.
arranged closely how the color spreads. The food coloring diffuses throughout the water in a glass. Eventually, the entire glass will be colored. The food coloring dissolves faster in hot water and spread of diffusion increases with increase in temperature. Increasing temperature increases energy of particles too. It follows. Diffusion is a slow rate. Stirring increases kinetic energy of particles. Rate of diffusion is directly proportional to kinetic energy of particles. Kinetic energy of particles is directly proportional to temperature. The food carrying getting dissolved due to diffusion. Diffusion happens due to difference in concentration. Particles move from high to low concentration. Basically, diffusion is important to cells because it allows them to gain the useful substances they require to obtain energy growth and lets them get rid of waste products. A familiar example is the diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide gas occurs in the lungs. Similarly, in kidneys, removal of waste chemicals and toxins and absorption of water or salts occurs via simple diffusion. for today's simple DIY science experiment that I performed at home.